All right, so I'm going to show you how to do what some people call an analog mod to this digital delay here. This is a an Ibanez DDL digital delay. I'm not sure when these were made. I think it was in the 90s sometime. I had never even heard of these um, until I met a, a friend who played guitar and he had one and he always had some really nice delay sounds. And he said that this was one of the more analog sounding de digital delays out there. And so I originally heard about this this analog mod from uh, Brian Wamper's publication, um, I forget what it is, about building and modifying guitar effects. And, you know, I've seen like some, some people will mod their boss pedal because <laughs> I, I won't get into the whole true bypass thing, but you know, some people think that they just have to true bypass their boss pedal and they have this big ugly button sticking out of the top of their boss pedal right here where you would you know normally switch it. Not only do I think it looks terrible, or you know, people stick like a switch right here in the middle, or you know, some odd spot, and it just looks I don't know, it looks dumb. I mean, yeah, you modded your pedal, but it's not a very elegant solution <laughs> and so I would you know I was thinking well this would be a good candidate to do this mod to and I was trying to figure out where can I stick something in here that won't look stupid <laughs> and so I noticed there was these holes in the inside of this battery compartment now you know with, with this pedal I mean It'd really be kind of dumb to use 9 volt batteries. They're only going to last a couple of hours with the kind of current draw this thing has. So I, I was like, hmm, maybe we could stick a switch in here somehow. And while that's possible, you can see that circuit board is not far underneath these openings. But I found a way to do it. I have this little tiny switch right here that... Um, when it's in the dark setting, that's basically when the analog mod is on. When it's on the bright setting, it's off. Now, I'll show you how I did this. Obviously, you got to take the bottom cover off to get the thing apart. I just have one last screw in here. All right, so we take out this screw. And the bottom plate comes off, then you have this black plastic insulator to keep all these connections on this circuit board from touching the bottom. As you can see this thing's pretty complicated, it actually has like a microprocessor in it and stuff. But the way to get this board out, which you're going to have to do to do this mod, is you just remove this one screw. And then this circuit board will flip out and then there's to get to the pot which you're gonna to have to get to you have to take out those two screws and then pull the knobs off of here take all the nuts off of the pots and you'll be able to just pull this whole thing out and to do this mod, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is solder a capacitor to the non-ground connections of the delay, the delay level pot. And, and if you want it to be, you know, something you can select off or on, you put a switch on it. So, I have this very tiny switch on here that I pulled out of some kind of broken toy or something. I always save switches and things like that from broken electronics because, you know, sometimes I find a use for them and 
this was a perfect example. It's very tiny. It's just just small enough to fit inside of here without shorting anything out. I have it kind of fastened in there with a couple pieces of double-sided tape with uh, the one one side obviously still has the the um, I don't know what you call that the paper backing on it. The other side's holding the switch in place and that's actually pretty secure. And in there I've got a little 0.15 UF 50 volt Panasonic capacitor that simply gets either connected or disconnected to the two non-ground connections of the DLA level pot. And uh, very, very simple to do. It won't work on every, every digital DLA, but I know it'll work on a great many of them. I guess the DD5, it'll work on the DD5 and nothing above that. The DD6 and the DD7, um, it won't work on those apparently. But it works great on this Ibanez DLA. And so, you know, if you're like me and you, you just, you don't like some kind of switch just sticking out the side like some odd cancerous growth, then uh, maybe this video will give you an idea about how to do that. This, this mod really only took me literally like less than a half hour once I figured out where I could put a switch and how I could do it. That was the part that took the time was thinking how can I do this without drilling holes. You know, I like to keep also things in their original state if I can. Um, that's also another reason why I like having this hidden switch. I mean, you look at this thing and you would think, hmm, it's just a standard old, you know, digital delay. It's in good shape. Nobody's done anything to it. So you pop the hood and you see that little switch in there. <laughs> so I think it's a pretty ingenious way to do it. Now, you know, other pedals, maybe you don't, you don't have a hole like that or whatever to use, but, um, you know, I there's always a creative way to do it. I mean, even if I couldn't have made that work, I probably could have stuck a little slide switch in the side here. Something that looks a lot more elegant than just some toggle switch stuffed on the side or the top somewhere. I just I just think it looks bad. That's not to put down Keeley or any of these guys that do pedal mods. I mean, you know, they they do these cool mods, but sometimes I just think the way they do the switches and stuff just looks really terrible. So anyways, hope you got something out of this. Maybe it gives you some ideas for doing something similar and thanks for watching. See you the next time.